Alright, this tutorial I'm going to show you how to download MODIS uh, 11A1 daily temperature data and pull it into NV so that you can overlay them with other geospatial data sets. You start with opening up the external file. We're going to go down to EOS MODIS and we'll grab this file. Uh, and when you first open it up, you can see that it's actually projected in emissivity data. So there are our numbers in terms of emissivity and our locations in latitude and longitude. All right, so that's spatially georeferenced. Now what we're going to have to do is that same data set, if you say open external file and go to generic formats, HDF, and choose the same data set, you then have a choice of data sets within this HDF um, set. So let's grab the first one daily, daytime, one kilometer, and open it up. Now at this point, when you open it and you look at the values in here, you can see that there aren't any, uh, there is no location information. So what we're going to have to do is take the header information from the emissivity and dump it into the temperature data set. So we're going to do that by going up to uh, Edit NV Header. And to begin with, let's choose the um, projected georeference HDF, the one that just shows emissivity. So we have 1200 by 1200 um, samples and lines, two bands. Uh, it's in the HDF EOS format uh, with a double precision. That means how much information there is per pixel. Uh, interleave is BSQ. So we're going to use some of this information in order to fix uh, the temperature data set. So once again, we'll go back to edit NV header, but we're going to choose the new data set, the one that doesn't have geospatial information. You can see it's an unsigned integer uh, with no spatial information. So when we open this up, you can see it's 1200 by 1200 by one band, HDF scientific data, uh, unsigned integer. So you can input the header from the previous file and then it dumps in 1200 by 1200, but by two bands. So we're going to have to bring it down to one because we only chose one band in temperature. Um, and it is not double precision. We're going to bring it back down to unsigned integer. And let's change this from EOS modus to show that it's different down to HDF scientific data. We say OK. So it dumps all the information that's currently loaded in the buffer. And now when we project it, here is our temperature width spatial information. Another thing that you'll notice is the data is still off, so you still have to modify that. Um, you're going to have to change the uh, data set itself by going to basic tools, pre-processing, and we're going to go down to data specific, or sorry, general purpose, and apply gain and offset. So within this data set that is now projected, uh, we're going to change this gain to 0 0.02 Oops, sorry. 0 0.02 um, and for the moment I'll just jump dump it to memory so you can see what this looks like. Alright so there is our new gained projected data with temperatures that are in a reasonable range somewhere in the high 200s to 300s in places that have no cloud cover. All right, so at this point, you've got this 1200 by 1200 array with geospatial information. In order to put it all together, let's say, for example, I'm going to stack these and oh, mm, 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 basic tools. I'm going to go down to layer stacking. And when I import these, then I can import that memory. And I can also import the old uh, emissivity. And at that point, it should work. Yes, I realize there's. All right, so there is your new stack. That's how you're going to wind up dumping MODIS together in multiple temperature stacks. In this case, I, of course, threw emissivity in there, but um, ideally you're going to put in a bunch of temperature data sets. And that should be all that you need in order to pull this off.